a whopping 70% of dogs in the UK are obese. This is criminal. Watch this video to ensure your dog doesn't become one of those chubby, unhealthy dogs. Firstly, if you have a puppy, this video is not for you. That video is in the description below. A puppy is a dog one year or younger. The most important thing is to not have a chubby dog. Obese dogs are more susceptible to nearly every single type of illness. That includes cancers, kidney and liver disease, arthritis. They're more likely to lose their mobility quicker. It is no joke having a chubby dog and it is our responsibility as owners to feed them the right amount. If you're feeding your dog a diet of dry or wet tin food, they tend to be a lot higher in low quality cheap carbohydrates and low quality fats. The canning and food processing of these foods reduces the nutrients, reduces the quality of the protein, reduces vitamins. So what you're left with is a food far too high in energy and reduced in nutrients and vitamins, meaning your dog has to eat more of them, which leads to an excess amount of energy. What does this lead to? Fat dogs. They are a big no-no, your dog should not be over-consuming processed foods. It's a bit like you going into the supermarket and only eating foods that aren't in the refrigerated section. I dare you to do it for a week. You'd look and feel goddamn awful. I actually did a kibble diet challenge where I recreated these processed food diets and I could only manage to eat it for four days. I ballooned in weight, I felt like absolute dirt and this is the types of food you're feeding your dog. I'm feeling bloated and blocked up, which is not a good combination. One of the main reasons why 70% of dogs in the UK are obese is because of these low quality processed food diets. I would urge you to go back, I'm gonna link this video at the end, it's about what foods your dog should be consuming. It's really important. And we also go into it in what proportions they should be eating these foods. Let's get into the quantity of food you need to feed your dog. Now, the easiest way to come up with an amount is through the body weight index. It's a percentage of your dog's current body weight fed to them daily. The basics are you need to weigh your dog, which you should do like this. Okay, this is how you weigh your dog. You get on the scales with your dog, take down the weight, then you get off the scales, get back on the scales without your dog, and the difference between the two weights is the weight of your dog. Now, that was easy for a small dog, now we're gonna do it with a big dog, which is slightly, slightly more tricky. Quincy, come here, Quincy. <laughs> come here. Okay, okay, boy. Hey. Hey. Come here. <laughs> Quinn. <laughs> Quinn, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> okay, okay, boy. Okay, okay. And now you take down the weight of your dog. Oh, oh good boy. Oh, crikey. The best way to work out what is the percentage of your dog's body weight is by downloading my nutrition guide and looking at the table because me explaining how you work out a percentage of your dog's body weight with an equation is really dull and slightly complex. What I've done is I've put it all in a nice neat table so you just go, oh, that's my dog's body weight and you scroll across and that's the percentage I've chosen and bosh, there's the number you need to feed your dog per day, simple. The way that you start off with a base percentage is by the size of the dog. The bigger the dog, the smaller percentage they need per day. You then add percentages, 0.5%, let's say, if they are intact, if they haven't been spayed or neutered because they're sniffing around more, they're using up more energy. You'd also add another 0.5% if they are active because they're running around more and they need more 
energy. What I would advise is you start on the lower end of the scale and build up. If your dog gets slightly skinny, add 0.25 to the percentage that you choose. Play around with it. It's, it's not something you need to get right first time. I've said that before. Just make sure your dog doesn't get fat and they don't get too skinny. Your dog is defined as a scavenging, opportunistic carnivore. That means if they were in the wild, there'd be periods of time where there was an abundance of food and there'd be periods of time where there was a lot less food. They've evolved to fluctuate in weight. That is healthy. What isn't healthy is having a dog that is consistently chubby or fat. As we've discussed, it's dangerous and it leads to a whole host of health issues in the future. So how do you know if you're feeding them the right amount? Well, if they're athletic. And the way that you tell if your dog is athletic or not is through the body condition score. And basically, what you should be able to see is a slight indentation towards the back hips. You should see some muscle definition if they're not long-haired dogs. You might have to feel around and a thin layer of fat. What we're going to do now is I am going to do a little body condition score on myself. I'm going to take off my top. I'm going to feel around my hips area to see if there's some excess muffin tops. I'm gonna look for some muscle definition and a thin layer of fat around the ribs area. This is slightly ridiculous. I have some hip definition here. There isn't too much fat around my hips. I can clearly feel the bone. Yes, there is a slight thin layer of fat or muffin top, but this is nothing excessive. You can see around my ribs area, there is muscle definition, which is what you'd be looking for in your own dog. You want an athletic dog. That is the ideal body type and they don't have a choice. You do, you choose their body type for them with the quantity of food that you choose. So I think I'm doing pretty good on the body condition score. I could be a bit fitter, more athletic, but I can go to the fridge and grab a beer. Your dog cannot. Got my top back on. This is important. I'm gonna link you to how many meals you should be feeding your dog per day and the doggy food groups, what exactly your dog should be eating. 